Pandas Melt. So you're gonna use Pandas Melt when you wanna unpivot your data. Now this means that you're gonna take your table from a really wide table and you're actually gonna transpose it into a long table. Let's see what this looks like here. First thing that I'll do is I'm gonna import pandas as PD and then I'm also gonna import NumPy real quick to help me generate a table. And I'm going to take my data frame and well, I'm gonna create a data frame first and you'll see I'm gonna create it from dict and I actually made a tutorial for this in another video if you wanna go check it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create five columns. One is a name and then four date columns with some random uh, integers in there. Go ahead and run this and you'll see here that I have my name column and then four columns that equal dates. Now this is meant to be uh, restaurant transactions. So for example, for 8-24-2020 or 8-4-2020, Liho Liho had 143 bucks transaction added. Okay. Now what I want to do is this looks really good because it's kind of easy to read the dates from left to right. However, I want these dates to turn into a single column, but then expand out. So I actually want four Liho Liho rows, one for eight, four, one for eight, five, one for eight, six, and one for eight, seven. This is going to help me do uh, my analysis at a later time. And in order to do this, what we need to do is call DF melt. Now, I think melt is an awesome function name. In fact, it's one of my favorites. And what I'll do here is I'll call df.melt, and then I'm gonna specify an ID vars. And what that means is, what is the column that you want pivot, or I'm sorry, that you want melt to unpivot around? So in this case, I want the center of attention to be on name and everything else to go around it. So I'll call, or I'll run this. And what you get here is you get name, and that's been enumerated out for all the different combinations of the other columns. And in this case, the default column name is gonna be variable. But I have one Liho Liho for 8.4, one for 8.5, one for 8.6, and one for 8.7, and one for 8.7. And then the value is gonna be what was in that cell at that different intersection. So for example, there's 143 Liho Liho at 8.4, and here we have our 143 Liho Liho at 8.4, okay? Now, the next thing that I'll do is if you only want to do a subset of your columns, and so say you only want a couple of those dates, well, then you can specify value vars. So in this case, I only want to do 8.4 and 8.5 and then unpivot around that, still specifying name as my subject or my ID vars. And here I have the same exact thing, only with two dates. Um, now, what you could do because you'll notice here that actually there's some data dropped, which may not be your intention. What you could do is you could specify these actually in your ID vars and just uh, pass a list instead of a scalar. Now, once I run this, you can see it, it doesn't make a ton of sense, especially with this use case. I have a name, I have what was spent on 8.4, 8.5, and then I split out 8.6 and 8.7 with the different intersections there. Um, this example isn't great for this. I don't use this too often, but just know that you have it at your disposal if you wanted to. So you'll see that up above, our default names are gonna be variable and value for our new columns. However, if you wanted to specify those, all you need to do is just say var name and then value name. So in this case, I wanna call my new tall column date and I wanna call my new value column transaction amount. Run this. And you can see here that we have our name column and now with our date column and our transaction amount column. Okay. Um, and then finally, what we'll wrap up with is a little bonus material is instead of calling df.melt, you can also call pandas.melt and it's literally no different. You just need to specify your data frame this time and you get the same exact thing. And that is pandas melt for when you want to turn a wide column into a or wide table into a tall table.